Right then, hello everybody. Here's another video regarding Betty. Now, she's been up for sale for a, a couple of weeks and she's had a lot of interest. But unfortunately for me, a lot of the people that have been interested in her um, are like, you know, you have like a romantic impression of what an old, like a 50 year old motor is going to be like. And a lot of people are thinking that she's going to be one thing and when they look into it she's not okay so just remember she's 50 years old now she has got a mot on her and she has had she has had welding that rear cross member there let me show you that rear cross member is been it's a brand new cross member that was welded okay it was welded under there so she's had welding and throughout her life she has had a lot of welding underneath now i just had a, a guy come to look at her and basically he's gone over it with a hammer and we have found he's managed to create a hole there so she now has a hole in her chassis that can that's as big as it gets and it can be welded okay but that's a fact people are asking about the chassis the chassis is fine he's, we spent half an hour he went all over the chassis and all he could find was that that one hole there and it, it, you know he didn't find it he made it but i said it was okay because i wanted him to be sure that the chassis was whatever it was and this is what it is so if you're looking to buy this car that 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 needs sorting on its next mot she's mot till november so you're all right for now and she ain't that's not going to hurt it let me have a look at some other things questions about the body right it's, this is it's like bulkhead and you can see there you go look there's a very little tiny hole here but this is solid it's structurally fine but it cosmetically that wants filling and repairing and at some point in its future life you can fit a new piece into that okay this down here similar story look you see that but it is it is solid this is solid okay some people were asking about the doors let me show you the doors let me pull back look you've got rust at the bottom of the doors i guarantee look it's solid the door ain't going to go anywhere there is rust in that door and you can buy another door if you're bothered about it you'll pick it up on ebay for 80 quid 60 quid or something you can even buy doors that you know, like um what do they call them doors that have been made since you know I, I don't know what you call them but pattern like a pattern part door but the door's fine you know if i get the door that shuts okay that shuts um another part probably like another part that's worth mentioning it's not structural but there is some right in this bottom corner here look but it's solid this is solid everywhere all around here but you've got a little bit of that wants filling and it wants um uh, it wants filling and it wants spraying or not even spraying rolling painting take that mesh off take this off tart it up she's fine okay she is what she is a 50 year old land rover just looking for a new home okay this is another piece around here look okay this is solid but it needs um filling sanding and painting and painting okay there you go so that's about that's like the only like nasty bits really you know um it's just that chassis you know let me just drop down here you can see the chassis this is on the on the non-driver side look she's been she's got packed she's been welded in her life okay but like i say that guy i won't name him but he's a nice guy he's been round with a hammer he's hammered the crap out of this chassis I gave him permission and he found that one hole which I showed you earlier in this video. So that's what you're gonna be getting with this Land Rover. Let me tell you something. This Land Rover is nearly 50 years old and it's the original chassis. So what I would say is if you're buying this, patch her up, driver, sand down, fill the holes, painter, user, driver, and then at some point, invest in a chassis a couple of grand 
you know but you've got a good base car here this car has been mot used year in year out this is a classic car a usable classic car that you need to chuck money out every now and again when this goes and that goes but which is a good base and there's a lot of land rovers out there that are not a good base so remember i want to be completely honest with everybody okay all they're all new floor panels in there this has not got power steering somebody actually asked me if it's got power steering no it does not okay it has not got disc brakes these are drum brakes front and back the brakes are shocking you you've got to stand on these brakes to make it stop but that doesn't mean that the brakes are broke but 50 years ago that's what brakes were on vehicles like this you've got to remember you're buying a 50 year old car so if you're interested give us a call okay um or send me a message and say you're interested but don't bid without looking come and have a look come and have a look and if you're interested take her off my hands i'm actually getting to the point now where i'm actually thinking of keeping her because it's too much hassle i hate selling cars it's crap so if you want this vehicle come on